Okay, so here we've got a truth valuation problem. They're asking me to come up with proposition or to give the values, right? The truth values, so true or false, T or F, to the propositional variables P, Q, and R in order to make this statement, which I'm going to write out here, true. So I want P and Q, then R. So this is if P and Q, then R, or P implies Q, or P and Q implies R, rather. Let me put square bracket. Let me, let me not, not try to talk while I draw square brackets. That'd be great. Okay. Uh, P and Q implies R. So this statement, this implies implies S. So that's this is this is a conditional statement, right? Here is the main connective. This is saying that if this one is true, then this will be true as well. So this is a phi then psi pattern, ultimately. Um, and how do we how do we make this? They want this to be true. Well, we can make this true very easily just by making the the psi, uh, the the phi the antecedent false, right? If I, I should move this down a little bit. Uh, if I make this, if I make this false, make this false, then it doesn't matter about the rest of it, right? The rest of it, uh, whatever the the value of psi is, as long as phi is false, this will be a true statement, right? I don't care. I don't care about, well, I don't care about psi. Okay, so let me how to, so how do I make this one false? I want this to be false. Let me go to, let me go down and, and check, take a look at this. Working my way sort of from the outside in here to the simpler statements, I want this now to be false. Well, there's only one way to do that. I need the antecedent to be true and the consequent, right? This is R to be false. Only one way to make a conditional statement false. The promise has to be broken. Right? I promise that if this is true, this will be true. Whenever this happens, this will happen. So if this is true and this is false, the promise is broken, and this will be false. So let me let me make p. So how do I make r false? Well, well r is there. I got my my truth uh, value assignment for r. R has to be false. R has to be f, and then p and q has to be true. This means that p has to be true and q. I was going to do a capital Q, and then I forgot this. There we go. Q has to be true. So P is true, and Q is true, and that is it. That's it. That is my, uh, the, the they call it example values here. These are the example values of P, Q, and R that make this proposition true. And they're not the only ones. There could be other ones as well. Uh, maybe as an exercise, go and uh, see, if you can, see if you can find some other ones. But the, the easiest way is what we call the vacuous truth. Right. If I have a conditional, I just make the antecedent false, and then, and then go from there. So we have, p is true, q is true, r is false, and that is my. That is my. Uh, my we call this a truth valuation here. They're calling it example values. That is my solution.